Okay, so from time to time I get uh, questions about how I design these gears. Let me make that a little easier for you to see. Gears like this, okay, with axles and whatnot. Well, I wish I could say that I design it all in LibreCAD. I actually don't. I import these uh, from a website, or at least the, the outline of the gear, and then I finish them off in LibreCAD. But I'll show you how I actually made these particular gears. So the first thing I do is I go to the web and I search something like laser cut gear generator and there's actually a few of them this one's wickedly cool but it tries to charge you money at the end the one I've been using is this one here it's free it's great it's simple works wonderful you can design different types of gears and um, let's say for example I want to make a uh, 1 to 3 ratio or a 1 to 4 let's go with 1 to 4 so we can play with it currently this particular one is running 830. Uh, I'm going to keep it super simple. Let's let's make this a 40 tooth gear and a 10 tooth gear. Okay, so that's going to be our one to four. Uh, I'm not going to mess with any of this other stuff right now. I'm going to make the axles a little smaller, and I'm going to update it. And you can see now it's drawn those gears exactly what we want, what we need. All right. It is important to realize there's a lot of other things you can play with and some important information. The center distance is going to be important uh, if you're designing a gear train. So you're going to know where you can place your different gears uh, relative to their axles. So it's important to realize these numbers. These are 25 millimeters apart at this scale right now. Okay, so 25 millimeters is the distance between here and here. But Let's move on. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and download this. Okay. And now I'm going to go to LibreCAD. And I'll make a new sketch. And I'm going to open. I could have just opened it. I made a new one. And I'm going to go ahead and open this. And there's those two gears. Okay. Now, it's real important to realize that uh, this is running layers. Okay, there's lots of layers here. And if I turn them all off, we'll see that as we turn them on, each one is a different, well, not all of them are different, actually, watch. I'm gonna turn on, this is gonna be our axles, okay? This appears to be the small gear. This appears to be the large gear. This appears to be the small gear again. And this appears to be the large gear again. And it's really frustrating if you don't get rid of some of these when you import this into uh, Lightburn or uh, RD Works, it's going to make two cuts, okay? And you're going to burn up your wood or whatever material you're working with. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of um, this one. And I'm going to get rid of this one. Oops, I'm sorry. I tried to it. I gotta select it. There we go. Alright, so now I have just the gears I'm interested in. Okay, so let's cut an axle into this thing. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my snaps on center. And oh, I'll leave both of those on. Okay, and I'm gonna make a circle. And I'm going to zoom on in here so we can kind of see it. And I don't know. I'm going to make it. Watch down here. This will be the size. Um, I'm going to make it. Uh, oh, I don't know. I'll make it 17 millimeters. Okay, that's going to be my radius. And I'm going to make an inner hub of how about 5. Okay. So 17 is from center to this outer edge. So now I'm going to take and select the angle tool and I'm going to make a 17 um, millimeter line at zero. I could have done this with just the line tool, but I'm going to click it. There's a couple ways I could have done this, but let's just click on this. Whoops, my length is 10, 17. All right, so now I've got a, a line. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to choose just a two point line and I'm going to turn off snap to center 
and I want to make uh, I need to make an axle and I think I'll make it I'll make it like this long I'm just gonna draw a straight line across there and a straight line across there okay the next thing I'm gonna do is I've got to cut off those excess edges so I'm gonna choose the divide tool and I want to divide, I'm going to choose intersection and turn off grid. I want to divide this line right there. And I want to divide this line right there. And I'm going to do the same thing on this one. There. And there. That way I can select these and just get rid of them. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all three of these and I'm going to come over here to rotate I want to rotate on the center and like so and actually I'm gonna turn on uh, snap to entity now so I'll go to intersection well I'll put on a couple different things alright I'm gonna choose that point right there and then I want to move it, and it's hard to get it exact, so we don't have to. Just throw it out there someplace. Then from here, I want to make sure that I keep the original, and I want to set the angle at 120, because I'm going to make a three-axled gear. Okay? And now I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to copy it. Or I'm sorry, sorry, select it. And now that I've used rotate, I can just right-click. Rotate. I want to put that in, in the center. I'm going to choose that point there, and I'm going to drag it to anywhere over here, and then I'm going to type in 240. All right. <clears throat> now I'm going to go ahead and delete these lines. I'm done with them. And I'm going to use, remember I used divide already, so it should be there. Yeah. Now I need to start dividing the circles up there 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 get them all we gotta do the same thing on the outer one gotta break it at every intersection And if we did that correctly, we should be able to delete these little pieces. Yeah, so I'll select them all. Nice. We're almost there. Now we're going to use the fillet tool to give it a nice curve. And I'm going to set my radius at 5. So I'm going to select that. And that. That. And of course, you can change those settings. I'm not sure if 5 is going to... Ah, oh, too much. I think 5 is too much for that one. So I'm going to go with like 3. Let's see. Come on. Let's go down here. Things seems to be getting confused. Let me turn off intersections and we'll go to there. Ah, oh, let's see. Let's right click off and try this again. And go to fill it. There we go. Excellent. So I'm going to save as, and I'll call this a uh, gear test, and save, and let's see what it looks like in here.
And there you have it. You've got a nice gear ready to cut. So hopefully that was useful, and uh, I'll see you again soon.